southwestern Kansas is getting the brunt of a storm that's making its way east, according to the National Weather Service in Wichita. Around 12.45 p.m., the storm, which was blowing 70-plus mph gusts and with zero visibility from dust, was approaching Hayes, meteorologist James Queller said. He expects it to reach the Wichita area between 1 to 4 p.m. and start to taper off between 6 to 7 p.m. Rising winds have already caused damage. A power line was knocked down near K-96 and Hillside in Wichita, causing power outages. Around 11.40 a.m., the Kansas Humane Society said an outage was forcing it to close. Queller said there have been reports of a couple of semi-trucks being blown over including one on I-70 just northeast of Ellsworth. The highest wind gust of the day so far is 77 miles per hour, measured at 2 meters off the ground at Inleota, which is in Wichita County in western Kansas, according to Kansas Messonet. Dust from strong winds has caused low visibility in western Kansas and led to multiple semis overturning along the highway. Additionally, the department announced that all state routes in Cheyenne, Decatur, Gove, Logan, Rawlins, Sheridan, Sherman, Thomas and Wallace counties are closed because of the storm. Winds reached 100 miles per hour at the Russell Municipal Airport. The National Weather Service in Wichita reported just before 4 p.m. that's 33 miles per hour faster than any gust measured so far in Wichita and appears to be one of the highest winds captured Wednesday in Kansas.